the, the whole, uh, uh, I mean, globally, mm. we're having the market like a common market for everyone. Okay. What I mean is that um, whatever information that you need from Ghana, mm. you can easily get such information based on the platform that, is, that has been designed. We actually design a concept whereby we have what's called West Africa Security Market System. Right a platform that will give everyone whatever information he or she needs. Yeah. So if you log on to the platform, you have every information concerning each of the markets. And in putting that platform into being, mm. we considered the challenges of the languages, the issue of development across the West African countries because we have uneven development. Some yeah. African countries are more developed than others. Yeah, okay. So what actually was put in place was that with the platform, irrespective of the language, you'll be catered for. And again, we ensure that we will not go straight to the third phase mm because of the fact that some African countries are not as developed as others. Well, what we did was to put it in three phases. We have phase one, we have phase two, and phase three. Right. And in arriving at those three phases, yeah. we'll ensure that a situation where mm -hmm. a, a, an operator has been given the prerequisites to be able to operate across the region. Mm. If that operator is not able to measure up to the standard, it will become a local operator, okay. but no longer a regional operator. Mm -hmm. So by that, everybody is now encouraged to skill up mm. IT-wise. And if you are unable to get to that level yeah. based on the prerequisites, you will not be operating within your jurisdiction. Great. So it means that IOSCO actually factors in some of the uh, positions or submissions that have been put together under uh, WACMIC. Yes. Okay, great. So now let's look at the perception of regulators and operators locally um, in Nigeria. To speak for Nigeria now, I'm not going to get you to speak for Ghana or any other region. Yes. That, what, 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 what are operators and regulators saying about this? Because you already have a deadline of uh, May uh, the 6th of this year to get the, the for, for IOS code to get the feedbacks from different markets? Um, markets, especially developed markets, and um, are already working towards the, the, the recommendation. Okay. Um, every market, as of today, has risk management framework mm. to be able to accommodate trees from other jurisdiction. A situation where if a broker from one jurisdiction is routing his order, what happens is that that order will be sponsored by the broker of the place of transaction. Yeah, okay. So a, a broker from Ghana will ride on the backbone of a broker in Nigeria if mm -hmm. that Ghana broker is to trade in Nigeria and okay. vice versa. Mm -hmm. And here in Nigeria, we have risk management framework that enables the, uh, the regulator, SRO, especially several mm -hmm. regulatory organizations like stock, uh, uh, trading venues, mm. to monitor the actions of the operators. Great. So once a foreign broker is coming to the market, mm. is riding on the backbone of the local broker that is already submitting itself yeah. to the rules, mm. risk management framework yeah. of that place of uh, of, of, of trading. Okay. Just before, the local just before we end the discussion, uh, are there concerns that operators have so far seen in this in this in this report? There, there, there's no much. Uh, no, no. There's no much concern. Uh, the reason of... being that we have all the while mm. be putting into consideration mm -hmm. the impact of regional integration. With the kind of framework that you have come up with on yes, that work. Yes. On that work. Okay. That's interesting. Uh, Mr. Joe Mekilewa, General Manager, uh, Business Development and Corporate Services at 
uh, Central Securities Clearing System. That's in the depository of the Nigerian Capital Market. Thank you for coming through on Capital Market. Really appreciate your time. Sir. Thank you. Uh, one of the key uh, stories or events that you should watch out for, not this month but next month, is the Capital Markets Committee meeting, the very first for Q1. Watch out for it, 19th of April and 20th. That's it on the show this evening. I'm Temple Ashaju. See you next time.